Where do you see um, the Crowley and Dean relationship in the beginning of the season? I mean, is is there genuine affection in there? Is he completely just using him? Like, what can you say about... Well, I think one of the... I mean, yeah, I mean, to me, that, that has become one of the more fun relationships on the show just because Crowley was such a nemesis to them. And mm-hmm. then it felt like last year, particularly in the middle of the season, when it came around the Mark of Cain and mm-hmm. all that stuff, Something shifted, and, and 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 not that either guy would openly admit it, but there's become a sort of a, a grudging friendship, right? There. And uh, and a real sort of um, uh, uh, is it? Yeah, I mean, it just is, and so mm-hmm. I think it has colored both of their um, uh, views on how exactly they're supposed to treat each other because sure. it's not quite as black and white as it used to be. And sure. as far as Crown is concerned at the beginning of the season, yes, he's loved he's running around with Dean, you know, and, and, and that's exactly what we'll, uh, uh, we'll pick them up, you know, essentially. Um, and But he's got other designs, mm-hmm. and you can say to yourself or ask yourself, so was this all about using Dean for something larger? Uh, I think there's a, there's a deeper... Uh, meeting or a deeper thing going on where it just probably just really likes Dean, okay. you know, and, and, and he likes having him around in a weird way. He trusts him, you know, so it, it it's one of those sort of upside is, is backwards. It's, sure, it's, yeah. It's a, one of those weird relationships where, um, uh, despite it all, they actually sort of like each other. And that complicates things at the beginning of the season. And it would definitely complicate things if the season goes on. And you mentioned the Mark of Cain, and I did want to ask you about that because, you know, with Dean having it and then his eyes turning black at the end of the season, yeah. you would think that, and you have said it, you know, he, it's not the demon Dean you might expect. Right. How big does the Mark of Cain play into the season 10 when we start, and how much of Cain himself and that mythology will play into it? Um, well, Cain himself won't play that much of a part at okay. the outset. The Mark of Cain plays into it in a couple of different ways. One, that it sort of complicates how Dean, how to get Dean back from being a demon. Okay. But more importantly, the, the, this is not Dean being possessed by another demon. This is Dean's own soul being twisted. Right. So the demon is Dean, and, and that we haven't seen before. Right. Um, and uh, Demon Dean is very aware of this, and, and, uh, and it's not without, um, uh, it's not without certain self-examination when it comes to that. Right. And after Dean uh, is no longer a demon, human Dean has to sort of deal with the idea that, that yes, his soul was twisted, but that was his soul, that was him. Right. So, it, 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 it adds a layer of, um, of, um, of uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for. I mean, it adds a weight, I would a imagine. weight, thank you. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Done. Sold. <laughs> That's why we're both writers. Um, 